Hey everyone, welcome to my Blind Mama's Messy Kitchen. Today, I just wanted to show you what I'm throwing in the crock pot. It's a simple, simple meatball sub recipe that anybody could do. And I just wanted to share it with you because we have this quite often. Also, before I get started on that, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Jerry and I am totally blind and enjoy cooking and sharing things that we make and um, showing people that you can do it even if you can't see. And if you are not new here, welcome back. So glad to have you. But let's get started on this recipe. So what I have in this bag, I don't know if this is front facing or not, is a bag of frozen homestyle meatballs. This is just the Kroger brand. You probably saw them yesterday in my grocery haul video. And so we're just going to come over here to the crock pot and this is just a standard crock pot. Nothing fancy, not digital. Um, it's just got the standard dial, low, high, warm setting on it. And normally I would spray it with nonstick spray, but I don't have any. So what we're gonna do is pour this whole bag. Um, I forget how many ounces this bag is. So you just have to buy them according to your family size or you know, however much you're gonna eat of it. And I'm just gonna dump in this whole bag of meatballs. And then, and I'm recording this by myself today, so if I'm a little wobbly, bear with me. I'm going to dump in one jar of ragu pasta sauce. I think this is the tomato, like um, basil and tomato, sweet basil, or I don't remember. But anyway, get as much out of that as I can one-handed. But you can use whatever. You can use um, pizza sauce if you want. I've done that before. One time I used a can of stewed tomatoes and a can of um, tomato sauce and then I just seasoned it up really good. So you're gonna dump those two things in there. You could doctor it up however you like. You could even use turkey meatballs if you want. Just whatever you prefer. You could make homemade meatballs and I have done that before, which of course homemade, uh, let's just face it, it's better a lot of times. Um, when I've done homemade meatballs in the crock pot, I usually brown them first in a skillet as best I can and then transfer them to the crock pot. It gives them a really good texture. So we're just gonna stir this around and it'll be easier to stir as it warms up. Stir this sauce around in here. Hope I don't have you in the crock pot. <laughs> you get a good view here. My old, my old Bessie, my old crock pot. Eventually I will get a new one, fix it a little bit. There we go. And then we're just gonna put a lid on it. I have it set to high right now because I'm getting a late start. We're gonna cook this on high for four hours and then I will show you what to do after that. So it's been about five hours or so, and here they all are, cooked in the sauce all day. Smells really good in here. You know, these are already pre-cooked when you buy them, so you're basically just heating them through. And yeah, so let's get these on a sub roll. So what I have here is a bakery fresh sub roll and it is not sliced. So what I'm gonna do is take this small serrated knife. Now let me just say, if you are visually impaired and you're not comfortable using a knife like this, you could always ask the bakery to slice them for you. If you buy rolls that are not sliced, don't be afraid to say, hey, excuse me, could you please slice these for me? And they'll do it. Otherwise, this is how I do it when they're not cut. And my husband actually had this idea and it's pretty tasty to do it this way. So I take the end of the sub roll, the long end, and I cut off the end of it just to make it a little wider of an end. And I'm just using a serrated steak knife for this. And I set that aside to eat that part later. 
and then I turn it on its side. No, that's not the one I'm doing that way. I'll do that one in a minute. So what I do is I insert the tip of the knife where the center is, and I kind of cut in a circle because I'm cutting the bread out of the roll. So I didn't slice it down the middle. I just cut the end off, and now I'm cutting in a circle to try to get the, the bread out of the center. And I have done this quite a few times, so. And then you just reach in there with your finger. Well, actually, it just kind of got smashed down, so that's okay. You could just smash it down. Now you've got a big hole in your bread. So then I'm gonna take some of this mozzarella cheese. Are you putting it on the inside? Yeah. This is what your dad showed me to do. Take the shredded mozzarella, and you kind of pour that into the opening. And yes, it's gonna go all over the plate that I have under it. That's okay, because I'm gonna put it back in there in a minute. Push it down. Now you could use a spoon to push it down. I'm just using my hand. <coughs> Excuse her. Seriously, excuse the dog. She likes to, she likes to be noticed. <laughs> so then I'm going to take, I put some of the meatballs in a bowl. So I'm going to take one out with a fork and literally just shove it down into the bread. Down through the center of it. And this would be easier with a spoon, but I'm using a fork right now. So it's kind of tearing it. Let me get a spoon. Okay, I have a spoon now. It's gonna work a little bit better. You shove the meatball down there. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more cheese. And then another, I cut the meatballs in half, so maybe it would work a little easier. And I do use my finger to kind of see where I'm, see what I'm doing. Push it down in there. Take a little of this cheese off the plate, put it back in the bread. And we'll do one more meatball. <clears throat> put another meatball in there. Oh my gosh. Shush. The bread's starting to tear a little bit, but that's okay. So it fits three or four meatballs. I think this one fit three. That looks really good. And then you could put a little bit more cheese at the end if you want. What do you think? More cheese or is that good? Oh, that's good. And there you have a meatball sub, but the meat and everything won't slide out of the side. <laughs> that's why I like doing it this way, because if you've ever had a meatball sub with the side of the bread open, sometimes things tend to just slide on out. So this way they don't. Then you have to rebuild it like... 15 times. It's a little bit more work, but it's fun and it's worth it. So there we have a meatball sub sandwich for dinner tonight. <laughs> Simple, easy, easy peasy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time on My Blind Mama's Messy Kitchen. Bye!